If you are shooting a dance clip or a song or a fight scene or any of this stuff. Why are you wearing this f hat? Because I'm mysterious. Stupid. If you are shooting these scenes and as usual there is no time on set and you don't you, 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 you didn't take so much shots or like you need like close shot, fall shot, American and uh, Western and uh, wide shot you, you took only one wide shot and some full shot and you need some some, some another clothes where is the clothes it's a dance scene for god's sakes let me tell you exactly what i mean <laughs> By the way, how European and Saudi people dance like this, but with swords, with, not with knife. <sighs> if you're shooting a dance, or a clip, or a fighting scene, you have to talk. You to, to the, you have to take so many shots. Don't be flat or or, or only one shot. You will not give any feelings for what you're doing. You are a filmmaker or an editor, right? Listen, I have a story for you. It all started with a great 15 years experienced editor who got fired from one of the biggest poster production firms in Hollywood due to his boss's jealousy. His job was to fix all production process disasters. Post. Low light, out of focus, bad actors, continuity mistakes, noisy shots, shitty sounds, and more and more. Welcome to the Open 5 Clown. Welcome to Fixing. Hello, this is 0.5 Clown here. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, like and comment down below in the comment section. I don't delete any comment. I, I want to know what's in your head. Also, tell me what, what problem do you face mostly in, in sets or in locations. And I will try to fix it in post in a new episode. Also, I don't delete any 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 comment, even the sub for sub comments. As you saw. So, you had no time in, in set and you didn't take so many shots. How can you fix this shot in post? Let's move to my screen and see you. Hello everybody. Welcome again. Here is my laptop screen. I have this footage for people dancing. Let's see the clap first. Alright. Alright. Actually, I, 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 I shoot it like one shot only. It's like a wide shot, sort of wide shot. I don't... Uh, I didn't have time to make uh, really more than one shot. I don't like to shoot a dance film or a dance clip or fighting clip with one shot. There is no much feeling. I need feelings. Feelings will come from closes, from fall shots, from many shots not just even two shots not just one wide shot uh, I was shooting with one camera that's why I only took 
one shot. Let's see how can we fix it in post. Alright, here is the shot. I will mute the sound and I will start. It's so easy actually. It's done by the video effects with no any plugins or no like motion and scale only, no effects needed. And I will show you how we do it exactly here in post. I'm using Adobe Premiere, but it can work in any editing software. Let's see how can we do it. First, I will start from here, like in and out. I will cut, get the razor tool, and I will cut this part here. And the mark it and go to effects. And we will change the scale and change the position to make like deeper shot or zoomed in shots. Okay, my advice, uh, don't uh, change the scale like up to 300. Remember that when you scale up a footage or a pictures, it will be more noisy or more pixelized if uh, also, uh, especially if you are shooting in a night, in a night scene or no much light or something. So don't ever ever scale up. It's really weird, I don't know, it's not mysterious, it's some something like feminist hat. More than 200, like 100% from scale, like this scale I will make it 200. I will not increase like make it 300 or something because it's really will make noisy footage. Like I like, can see it's more like noisy here. This shot was full HD, shot was full HD, resolution 1920 times 1080. Okay, uh, you can scale up more of 100 if you shot like 4K and you will export your footage full HD. Uh, so it will not like pixelized or something. But in this case, if you export full HD, don't and you shoot with full HD, don't scale up more than 200. Alright, and I will play with the position. Here is the X, I will get it like in the middle. And the Y, I will make it like this. This is here is the difference between the long shot and the closer one. This might be a wide or something. And then we go again to the wide shot. That's much better, but my advice don't do it unless you, you have to. Don't do it unless you have to. You have to make more shots. It's like fixing in post, but it's not the correct way. This is better than reshooting or recollect the actor or actors or something. Uh, scaling up always, always will make the footage look noisy, but we try to like handle the situation. We will try to make it like here. It's not a long clip. It, it is not a big part of the clip or long part. And we scale up only 100%. We will not do like 300 or 400 or something. Another thing I would like to make you see, it's like keyframes. Like if I took this in and out and I will cut this part and go here and I would like to make some movement to my clip like I would like to come from left here panning from left to right let's see how can we do it I will scale this clip to 150 and I will come to position here I will start a keyframe. Keyframe is for motion or keyframe is like you, you, you start from a point to do something and end this point to do something. Let's, I will show you now. Alright, I will start here from this point. And sorry, I have to make it at the first. I will move this one here, the very first beginning. And at this point, I want to come like here. Die! Die! I will render this, those two clips and you will see what I mean by this. And out, render please. Please don't take much time. Thank you, thank you. You are great, great, great laptop and great program. 
Thank you. Thank you. All right. Clear in and out. Go to editing. I will unmute. Let's see what I did. See the movement? Did you see the movement here? In this part? Let's make it again. I think this is much better than go all the way in uh, one shot. You can make one shot. You can also add keyframes while you're scaling. Let me show you. From here it's 200 and I will go down, down here to 100. Render. Okay. Oh, I did. I forgot to do the position. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. No, no, no. Okay, the position here from the first keyframe. Hundred and from here I will. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I will add keyframes for position too. And at this very point, I will add a keyframe refresh. And douche. Let's see. Sorry. Okay. See how it's zoom out from 200 to 200. That's it. It's very, very simple task, by the way. You don't need too much. But remember my advice. Don't scale up unless you need it because it will noise your footage as I said it's like emergency fix in post emergency that's it thank you thank you so much for watching this episode don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment and tell me all your editing problems or production problems and I will for you for fix it for you Thank you and see you in the next episode.